Hello everyone. Welcome to Electronics Workshop. Today, we are here with another awesome video describing about cellular IoT with 4G network. So, let us go through the video in detail. In this project, we will use DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and program the device using Arduino IDE. And for testing, we have using Internet of Things platform called ThingSpeak. The value of temperature and humidity is read by the microcontroller and sent to ThingSpeak server using 4G cellular network. The video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB. In this video, we will be dealing with SIM 7600 4G LTE modem. It is integrated board made with SIM 7600 LTE and Atmel MCU called Arduino Zero. This modem provides onboard solution for all GPS and GSM application. This SIM 7600 4G LTE modem allows you to add location tracking, voice, text, and data to your applications. 4G LTE module can be the solution for all the disadvantages faced while using 2G GS. At the center of the board, there is SIM 7600 E 4G module, which is also the main part of the board. This chip is responsible for performing all the GPS and GSM activities. Its pinout and hardware configuration is included in the datasheet, which is attached in the article in my website. This is 32-bit ATSAMD chip from Atmel. This chip is also popular as Arduino Zero and is the main controller in the board. It controls all the input-output data, as per the instruction given to it. This module is user-friendly, because you can directly use Arduino IDE to operate and program the SIM 7600 module, or make HTTP POST. This module can also be powered using 3.7-volt lithium-ion battery. The battery can be directly connected in the power port, taking care about the polarity of the battery. This sliding switch is used to on and off the power in the module. After connecting any power module don't forget to turn on this sliding switch to turn on this module. This is the reset button for the microcontroller. When this switch is pressed, all the data in the MCU is reset. There is one more reset button in the module, which is used to reset the SIM 7600 chip. So, by using these reset button we can manually reset the module. There are two Type-C connector in this module. The first one is used to load program in our controller, and second connector is used to access the internet connection in our PC. At the back of this module, you can see two memory card slot and one SIM slot. One of the memory card slot is used by LTE module and another is used by our microcontroller. These two memory slot are used when we need to store a large data in the module itself. There is one SIM card slot in this module where we need to insert your SIM. While inserting the SIM, the direction is mandatory. The SIM must be inserted only in the instructed direction. There are also input-output pins in this module. These pins can be easily accessed like general-purpose input-output as in Arduino. We can also find I2C interface in this module where you can directly connect your I2C sensor or any module with I2C interface. Now, connect your 2 GSM antenna and 1 GPS antenna to make this module ready for the operation. While connecting the antenna don't forget to power off your device.
In this project, we are using DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, and the value of temperature and humidity is read by microcontroller and sent to ThingSpeak server. Connect the VCC pin to 3.3 volt, ground pin to ground, and finally data pin to D3 pin of the module. Now just connect your Type-C USB cable in the board, and you can slide the switch to turn on the power. This blue LED and the blinking small green LED indicates that the module is looking for the network. Go to thingspeak.com and create an account here. Then, go to the channel and create a new channel. Give your channel any name. In field 1 section give temperature and in field 2 section give humidity. Scroll down and save the channel. Now, go to the API key section and copy the API key. Going to the coding part. First replace this API key with the API key that you have copied earlier. Add DHT library in the code and define all the required pin in this section. In setup section, we set the serial begin function to read the data in serial monitor. And, we set our GPIO pins as input or output. Using these AT commands, we establish a HTTP connection and send data to server. We are sending a string data to our ThingSpeak server. You can get this code in my website, and link of my website is given in the description box below. Go to Tools, and select the native Arduino Zero in both board and port section then upload your code. To see the live data, open the serial monitor. If everything is fine, the LTE module will be sending data to ThingSpeak server. Then, go to ThingSpeak website, where the controller will be sending the real-time value of temperature and humidity in every 25 second. So, in this way you can make any HTTP post an IoT platform using SIM 7604 GLTE module. The video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB.